Oh my god, I have not seen that helmet before. Oh my god, look at this milk. Milk, check uh, this out. Oh, you're on stream, by the way, and uh, <laughs> Look at this thing. What is it? Look at this thing. I didn't know is this was a skull? helmet. Yeah, dude. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm PBTCB. Uh, that's milk. No. Also um, known as I'm powdered milk. Start whenever you are. Or as he likes to be called, powdered milk. Please so, me. this is Jump at Rex. Uh, three, two, one, go. Uh, this is a story about a, a, a dinosaur astronaut. Uh, he's actually a pug in disguise, though, so don't don't tell anyone. So there, uh, we exit the f base camp that we're in. And normally, we have to exit out by going into like a rocket car thingy, but uh, you can just exit out of the level and go to the main menu map. The goal of this game is to get 89 stars and save Earth from an asteroid. So what I just did there is I collected the stars in the level physically, and then I left the level. Uh, you get three stars per level, depending on how you beat it. Uh, you get one for beating it just normally. Uh, you get one for beating it without dying, and you get one for beating it under a certain time limit. Uh, the time limits are pretty lenient if you're speedrunning this game. So that's not really going to be an issue. But uh, Rex has four ways of moving. He has jump. Uh... He has hover, which is a fly. We, he has dash, which is his fastest uh, horizontal movement. And then he has butt stomp, which uh, makes him fall faster. Uh, something cool about dash and jump is that the projectiles that you shoot out can actually be used to hit rings. You have to open up, you have to finish the level by hitting all the rings. Uh, sometimes. You only have to hit the rings once. Sometimes you have to hit them multiple times because it's a lap level. Alright, there. I just got a really hard cycle. And... Yeah. Rex also has one other move, which is a spin kick. Uh, it slows you down, but it has a couple weird properties, like making you invincible through lasers. So these are the intro levels, there's not really too much going on right now. Uh, the way these le all the levels work in the game, with the exception of like one or two, is that they're all under cycles. And that sounds terrible because, you know, cycle based speedrunning. But it actually works out pretty well. So here I'm just going to wait six ticks. Uh, and that's flashing on the start platform and that'll get this level to have the cycles line up so that where I don't have to do anything or don't have to wait around to finish the level Uh, this level, the jam, is pretty tricky because there's a lot of ways to die here. Uh, if I touch any of those electric blocks, I die. If I touch that enemy, I die. Uh, I didn't mention, but uh, Rex dies in one hit to everything on normal. And that is the category I'm playing. I'm playing Adventure Normal. So we're coming up on our first boss. This is Yeti White. Uh, he's going to start out by doing a snow attack every single time. Uh, I got a bad pattern there, so I wasn't able to capitalize on that much, but the second one was really good. Uh, it's random what he does after that first attack. So I'm really glad that he did a second one and let me kill him quickly. Tree Fortress is a pretty slow level. Uh, it takes 30 seconds. And... Honestly, I wish I could cut this level out of the route, but the other levels that I could do instead that are faster are just too risky for marathon runs. All 
Alright, Hedge Hurdle. Uh, you can cancel your dash with another dash. Uh, this is called dash canceling. And doing that actually lets you, uh, you know, shoot your shots out really quick. And that will let you, if you position yourself equal distance between a ring, two rings, uh, you will be able to hit those rings very quickly. Uh, in a lap level, you can't hit the same ring twice. So you gotta hit a ring, then hit another ring. Alright, here... I spin through that laser. That laser would normally kill me, but because I spin through it, uh, I was able to survive. Brain threes. You gotta wait three ticks at the start. And then from there, it's just getting to the end of the level. So you may notice that score multiplier for coins. Uh, coins, they actually do something in this game besides just being a collectible you can exchange for costumes and customization. Uh, if you get a four times coin multiplier, you move 15% faster. Uh, it's not a huge deal in most cases. In fact, it's trivial, but uh, when you're doing ILs and tenths of a second and hundreds of seconds and thousands of a seconds count. That was my first death of the run, by the way. Uh, it stacks up. And can make a big difference. This level is really annoying because those guys chasing me, they can go through walls. And the way their AI works is they all kind of cluster up together. So that they can kill me pretty easily if you know I hit one of them with a dash uh, I'll then just instantly get bodied by the rest of the group this is a lap level where I have to worry about cycles and I also have to worry about a laser shooting at me power core I gotta wait one and a half ticks Uh, power core is pretty lenient with its cycles, so that one and a half ticks doesn't matter too much. Wow, I killed myself. That was pretty crazy death. I, I did get greedy there. I tried to do a dash cancel that's not easy to do. Alright, Ravaged Ruins. This level uh, can be a bit of a jerk. Uh, the big thing on this level is a fire that's right at the end. And if I'm going too slow, or if I'm going like way, way too fast, I will get hit by that fire. I missed a ring. Exact Thankfully I know exactly where it is, because this game has a mini-map. Alright, coming up on our second boss, this is Phantasm. Oh no, he got out of the cycle. Okay, uh, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to jump and cancel my jumps with dashes. There we go, that was really slow, but he died. Overgrowth is a lap level, and this level is actually really scary because there's so many ways that you can get killed on it. You can get killed by hitting pretty much anything except a very few select walls. And you can also get killed by this guy coming up right here. But uh, because I forgot where I was in the level and I wasn't really paying attention, he actually lined up in the perfect spot. Normally he does not do that. Alright, switch back.
This level has a really hard cycle, and I got it. Alright, Deathless Switchback. That's not easy to do. I'm pretty happy with that. Cavern Crumble, there's a very... Uh, I forgot where the level was. Uh, don't tell anyone, but this is actually PB pace for me, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, there's a really dumb trick right here. I killed myself doing it, so... What you do is you dash through there, you trigger that guy to activate so he rises up. I killed myself again, really. Uh, there's another one of those tricks that I can do right here. But honestly, this is not safe for a marathon, even though I went for it. Yeah, so Cavern Crumble, uh, it's definitely one of the harder levels, but I'm also playing pretty badly, so go figure. Alright, Shipwrecks. This level is really freeform with how you can route it. Uh, I'm going to be doing the IL route for this level. But uh, if you're playing this game casually, uh, first of all, you're not going to be hovering because hovering gets you killed casually. Expect to have deathless PBs. Yes. Alright, I messed up my cycles, so that got me killed. Eh, bad ice box. Alright, Master Zapster. This is maybe the hardest level in the run. So I just boost right at the start, turn. Alright. I had to go for the bitch route. There, if you don't get that small bump to the side, uh, you will hit those lasers and you will die. Straight and Arrow is also another very hard level. This one operates on a pretty tight cycle. Uh, I was a little bit too fast there. Alright, second try. That's not too bad. Alright, Seedmore, uh... To be honest, I don't really know how Seedmore works. Uh, sometimes when you butt stomp him and you hold down when you bump stomp him, uh, he'll just be dealt a lot of damage really quickly. Other times he won't. Like there. But sometimes they'll die very, very, very quickly. And it's something that's really hard to get consistent. So now we're starting to glob levels. These are virus-based. Uh, they add a new hazard, which is this little chain of globs. Also, that guy's going to kill me. Why was I waiting around there? Uh, if you get globbed, uh, you're dead. But there's a second or two before you die, and that's going to be used in an upcoming level, to my advantage. Because, surprise, you can still gather lasers and checkpoints when you're dying. Ah, thank you guys.
I'm really choking right now. I'm gonna have to just improv my route because apparently I forgot how to play this game and between the time I started this run and this exact moment. Alright, that was terrible, but we got through it. Anyway, that globbing up thing. Uh, so you need 89 stars to complete the game. If you're good at math, uh, unlike me, uh, you will quickly figure out that 89 is not divisible by 3. Uh, in fact, you have 2 left over. So, what we... What we do is we finish a level with a death. Because that's faster to do this level than the regular way. And while you're dying, you can hit these checkpoints. While you're dying, you also can jump. So that lets you do that skip right there. And here's another example of dash canceling. Uh, except this level is pretty high risk. And it keeps on saying new personal best, but it only counts, it only checks to compare if your current save file has its time beaten. Uh, otherwise, no, that's not my personal best. So, I mentioned that you can jump while doing, uh, while dying with a glob. Uh, if you jump and restart and hit a checkpoint, uh, as the screen flashes white there, uh, the final boss will get stun locked. And he can't do shit. So the actual real final boss is this at level. This is a maze of a level. And I just died in a really dumb spot. Uh, depending on how many stars you get, you get extra time to finish this level. I'm not going to need that extra time. But it's like Hideout Helm from DK64, if that makes any sense. Alright, time's coming up real soon. Time. So we blew up the asteroid that was threatening Earth, and now Rex is a dinosaur hero. He's a pug hero. Yeah, that too. Uh, you got like a 1744. All right. Probably that's that's two and a half minutes off my PB, but uh, considering, all right, the first half of that run went really well. The second half, uh, not so much. Uh, you can see the game freezes on your in-game time at the very end. We measure this game by in-game time. So 17.03, that's not sub-17, which was my goal, but... Eh. 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 Alright, thanks for having me. No problem, bud. Feeling.
different guys I post the shitty attitudes that made me bitter after laughter And I deeply regretted it I take the D train to go to BK I can't defeat Rain As far as we go, and as far as we go.